and welcome to a new episode of Trekkies, our all Star Trek show here on the Super Review Show. There, there actually has been a lot of movie news and other also other media stuff going on in the world of Star Trek. So here we go. Regarding film and TV, well in this case just film today, uh, we have Star Trek Beyond has wrapped production. That, that is right folks, Star Trek Beyond is in the can, they're editing it right now for a summer 2016 release date. So I can't wait to see that. Uh, everything's better when it's, everything's better when it's in the can, it's being edited, because that way you know it's done, it's coming, it feels more real, everything's great. Uh, also, Star Trek, uh, now onto our other topic, Star Trek V, uh, it has a page on IMDb, I noticed this recently, when I was on my, when I was on my phone, I went through IMDb, and I looked at, Star Trek IV had, had a, had a page, obviously, because Kirk, uh, Kirk, Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto have already signed on for Star Trek IV. But it turns out that Paramount wants to move ahead with this franchise even more than they already have. And they've apparently they've had a Star Trek V IMDb page already set up. So if you can find that, go check it out. It just says production announced and it's, it's targeting a 2021 release date. So that means every three years we'll get a Star Trek movie. Personally, I, like it. Personally, I would like it every two years because the, the last two movies have been killer and they've been epic. But that's just me. Everyone has their own opinion on film, but I like those films quite a bit. They're right about there, under the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. How cool is that? Um, also, we have a sad, tragic passing of Bruce Hyde recently, who played Kevin Riley, um, apparently a fan favorite on the original show, the original series of Star Trek um, back in the 60s. Bruce Hyde, um, he recently passed. Uh, my condolences go out to the to the Bruce Hyde, the the Hyde family and their tra their loss of a great actor who was in Star Trek. We we miss him very much. My condolences. Now let's move on to other Star Trek other media in the Star Trek universe. So the only thing we got today is Star Trek ongoing, the comic book series, the the comic book series volume one. Uh, no, not volume one because volume one came out a while ago. I actually have it. It's a lot of fun. But Star Trek volume eleven is coming soon. Uh, it'll be eleven ninety nine uh, in store soon. I think it's targeting, targeting in January. Uh, hit the hit the shelves release date for this uh, the eleventh volume in the Star Trek comic book world. I gotta say the Star Trek comic books, the ongoing ones, have been really, really, really good. I really like them a lot. I've read one and I've skimmed through a few at the store. I gotta, I obviously gotta get a few. I gotta get volumes two, three. Four, five, you know, all the way up to ten now, and then eleven is gonna come out soon. So I gotta work on that. But otherwise, look, the fact that we have, the fact that more comic books are coming out, and plus, I mentioned this on our, on the first episode of Trekkies, is that this Star Trek comic book that's ongoing it fills the gaps between the movies. So Star Trek 2009 comes out, and then it's, the volume one is the continuation off of that off of that. That crew, that set of cast members, in their drawing format, in comic book form. So one, two, three, four, f five, and then and then Star Trek Into Darkness comes out, and then you have Star Trek. You know, Into Darkness comes out, and then it's like Star Trek Volume Six After Darkness. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, and like a lot of stuff happens. Like the Klingon and the Romulans take a battle at each other. Uh, there's an alternate timeline of. Captain Kirk and Spock, where Captain Kirk and it's Jane Kirk and Mrs. Spock, you know, it's insane stuff that goes on in these comic books. So, if you haven't heard about these, Star Trek comic books are published by IDW Publishing. Um, I'll have a link to their their um, Star Trek uh, site in the description below. But um, if you're a Star Trek fan, and you're not reading the Star Trek comic books. What is wrong with you? Because these these comic books are incredible. It soothes my need because I, I was a casual Star Trek fan, and now I'm, just, I'm starting to get really into the characters and how the next generation plays out. And they have so many great comic books running for the Star Trek franchise, mostly from the original series, this 2009 blockbuster film went onward, and uh, some actually some really cool Doctor Who and Star Trek the the Next Generation crossover. It was really unique how they did that, but I'm not getting into that. But yeah, so like IDW publishing Star Trek comic books, get on it. It's incredible. Um, actually, they actually re the, I was at a Comic Con recently, as you guys know, and they actually had a Star Trek John Byrne collection. It was like this thick at the IDW booth at Comic Con, 
and I checked that out. Like, and I, well, I heard about it from a, a guy I met there. I, I actually met um, John Schnepp from Collider Movie Talk there. Uh, he was he was really funny. He, I was like, hey, do you know how to get IDW reads? And he's like, yeah, I, I like their John Byrne Star Trek collection. Like, their Star Trek books are actually really really good. I'm like, yeah, I, I've read I've read the the ongoing stuff. But he's like. Those are good, but you got to check out the John Byrne collection. I'm like, oh, I definitely got to do that. So there's a plug for you who are who know who John Byrne is, who w did the X Men run for a while. Now he's doing. Uh, he, he did Star Trek for a while too in the eighties. He's a great. A bit, he's a great artist because uh, Chris Clement was his partner and the writer. So there you go. So John Byrne Star Trek, go check that out too. Uh, but yes, that will do it for this episode of Trekkies. For all your Star Trek updates and for any movie updates in general, keep it locked on the Superview Show. I'll see you later, and live long and prosper.